Samsung's got a new phone, but they've also got a new watch. The Samsung Galaxy Watch, with an unspecified price and release date, is here at Samsung's Unpacked event. Now, if you've been following Samsung watches, there was the Gear Sport last year, and before that, other Gear watches, but there's a name change now. And the Samsung Galaxy Watch comes in two different sizes, 42 and 46 millimeters. This, I'm wearing the 42 right now, and it comes in black, it comes in silver, and it comes in gold. The 46 comes in black and silver. Now, it has kind of the similar dimensions on the front to the Gear Sport. It has water resistance for swimming. It also has the ability to play music. It has LTE, if you want it, for standalone connection. And the battery life is supposed to be improved up to several days on a charge through a combination of better battery and a more optimized processor. Samsung is already partnering with Spotify and it's back on this watch and it's also on the Samsung Galaxy home speaker. And the idea is to integrate that through the phone and have it all work seamlessly. There's also a few new health features on here. There are 39 different exercise modes and there's also six different auto detect exercises. And there's also a stress mode, which might be good for me right now, that is able to measure my heart rate and general stress level. And if there's a lot of fluctuation going on, which there probably is, it then recommends that I start breathing. Also, like before, there's sleep tracking. Now, that's not a new feature. Samsung's done sleep tracking before, but Apple Watch doesn't have sleep tracking, and Google's Wear OS does not have sleep tracking yet as a built-in feature, so that's a standout here. Samsung's Bixby, which is also continually being positioned as an all-in-one assistant across multiple devices, will be the go-to assistant on Samsung Galaxy Watch. As always, there's a rotating bezel on top. This has been Samsung's most unique quality on its watches. And the watch has a nice clean design or easily replaceable watch straps. It feels a bit thicker. Samsung's newest Galaxy Watch arrives August 24th, just before Google and Apple are expected to reveal new watches of their own. It costs $330 for the 42 millimeter version and 350 for the 46 millimeter. But that's just Bluetooth. LTE versions will be sold at a later date for an unspecified price. Smart speaker space is getting pretty crowded. Samsung is entering it with the Samsung Galaxy Home. This device doesn't have a release date or a price, but it was shown here at Samsung's event in Brooklyn. It, it looks a little bit larger than the HomePod and almost kind of looks like a barbecue kettle drum. It's uh, made along with AKG and it has Samsung's Bixby Assistant on board for listening and connecting to the rest of your home. It has six speakers and eight microphones. It's meant to also be able to follow you around the room and direct audio. It has Dolby Atmos, and it's going to be competing against Apple HomePod, Google smart speakers, everything from Alexa and Google Home, and just this growing field of speakers. Uh, Samsung's will also have Spotify, which is a partner service that also works, of course, on the Note 9, but also on Samsung Galaxy Watch. We're gonna have more on this to come. Really, all you could see here was a demo of the units and seeing them all lined up in a row. It's Fortnite. Fortnite's hitting Android in open beta in just a matter of days, but if you were a Samsung device owner, you could download Fortnite now and begin playing it. And here it is on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, if you're curious, I'm skydiving. And by the way, I'm absolutely terrible at Fortnite. Uh, but a lot of other people might be better than me. Uh, it's been available on iOS for a while. Android owners are gonna get their hands on it. And if you happen to get a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 or a Tab 4, you can also get a skin for Fortnite if you're into that. Um, the screen actually is, it's nice to play on a large screen and crash into a tree. I think some people have actually been downloading Fortnite here, even though they weren't originally on the Note 9 phones. So we found a unit that has Fortnite on it, and we're giving it a play. Seriously, 6.4 inches, this is, it's much better to play on mobile, I would say, on a screen that is basically about the same size as a Nintendo Switch. It goes without saying, uh, it's gonna hit Android for everyone, so Fortnite is not a reason to get a Samsung device, but it is available a few days earlier if you're curious.